people, and Muslims have asked me when coming in this situation, I tell them, and they don't go and look at research themselves, therefore they, 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 they don't take it in, right? And I waste my breath. Chris, so Chris, I'm saying to you, you're the one, if you want to know what it is, hold on, me, hold on. you're the one, one you're saying we misreading what is said in the yes. Bible. So I'm assuming you know the correct interpretation, right? I'm saying. Do you know the correct yes, interpretation? So what is that? What do you need to learn? You need to go and look. Oh, now you're Chelsea going to shift the shift, shift you said it you know on somebody it. else. No, but Chris, he when, means explain it to When you me. make the allegation, no, no, no. you no, go to back no, no, no. not us. I I'm saying I've tried to I've tried to I tried to explain versus the Muslims, right? Tell me. Hold on. I've tried, in, in general I've tried to explain versus the Muslims. And all I ever get all, all they ever do, because they because they don't research it themselves and actually take the time to research it themselves. So you're saying you don't think, research anything, we just know everything no, just you, by you don't, you don't just you by don't how? Do you don't. how do you think we know these things? How? You don't. Without researching. How do you research it? How do you research it? No no, you're saying we don't research it. So you, you tell me of course you don't. So really? How do, you know so how do I know what I for example when Jesus says in the Bible? Yeah. When Jesus says in the Bible, I've not come for peace, you're saying how do you he came for peace. How do you research it? A research based on what the scholars say, what the what, scholars? what the interpretation say. Which Many scholars? scholars? Many which scholars, scholars are there? Do you, do you know all the scholars? Who, which scholars? Which scholars, scholars do you follow, Chris? Christian Chris. Christian scholars, non-Christian scholars, Muslim scholars. It depends on what I'm researching. Right, and what, okay? what, what, what answer But hold on, before I give you... No, no, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to inter interrogate what I research and what What I'm saying is, if I say something wrong, and if you know the correct answer, instead of you giving me the correct answer, you're telling me, go and research it. That's not an answer. That's not how I'm we discuss. Research it from the Bible, not from anywhere else. That's, that's, what, it is. that's, that's what I'm saying. So I gave you the words from the Bible where Jesus says, "I've not come for peace." You're saying no. That's not what it means. So he's the Prince of Peace. So what, what does it mean when he says, "I've not come for peace"? Then? Peace. Uh, when he says, "I've not come for peace," yeah, peace. But a sword, right? What does it mean? He means because the Israelites, right? Were, and it actually kind of like <coughs> talks about this a little bit in the Old Testament because the Israelites were so stubborn and they kept on disobeying, disobeying, and disobeying. He, <coughs> um, God, would make them black, right? like like Christians would make them, right? Okay. Now, now this is why he said, "I'm not come to bring peace, but a sword." Right? A sword is the word of God. Right? A sword is the word of God. A sword is the word of God. Yes. Yeah. Where does it say that in the Bible? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Where'd you, can you get your phone up? Like, and, I'll try, and I'll try and get the verse. You got your? You don't have a Bible of your own? On your no, phone? No, I, my, my phone is fine. I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Be which humble, verse, brothers. Be humble. <laughs> huh? Do you know we, where in the Bible it is? I'll have to. Let me it's, because you said the sword means the word of God. Yes. I want to know where in the Bible it says that. Um, uh, just put down the. Just down no, I don't. Have, I don't have internet. This is basically the Bible. If you tell me the words, have you got internet? And the words. Has anybody got internet? But well, I can't. I can't remember the verse. Okay. I will tell you what. Don't give me the chapter and verse. Paraphrase it to me what it says in the Bible with regards to the sword being the, the well, word example, of God. It says, Paraphrase it, go on. It says, the fruit of, there's a bit of verse that says the fruit of the Spirit is meekness, humility, long suffering, blah blah blah, right? What is the and sword? it says, the sword of the Spirit is the word of God. The sword of the Spirit is the word of God. I really want to know where that word is. That's, that's one of the, I don't think, I, I, I don't believe I believe I've, I've read that particular word. But if you're going to say that Jesus is coming as a sword and not for peace, yes, what what does that tell you? Not for peace. The word of God is supposed to spread peace. But Jesus says the other way around. Jesus says, "I've not come for, because, for peace." Because, because in that situation, he was, he was, he was blinded. Because they were blinded. Who was blinded? Jesus was blinded. No, they, he was blinded because he was like he made it because because like because they was like so disobedient. It says, "I'll blind their eyes." Yeah, so they can't see. Yeah. But so that's not peace, right? Huh? That's not peace. It is peace. It's the Prince of Peace. So right? when you blind someone, that's peace. No. How is that peace? He's a Prince of Peace. But if you actually open up, right? If you if you stop being stubborn and open up and stop being blind, like you guys are blind, and you're just like, no, 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 that's not it. Like now, right? What you're saying about 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 what, the minute you hear sword, that city's being said, kill people. Oh my God. Yeah? You're all over the place. Right, you're not so even explaining. Because you don't, because you, I want to, because you don't want to actually think and then actually let me look at it properly. And because you don't want to do that. But you're waffling. You don't even know no, what you're talking hold about. Hold on. Because you don't. I'm wanna, sorry to say this, Chris. Um, let me, let me when finish. it says in the Bible, I've not come to bring peace, but the sword. And now you're telling me. These people are not listening, so they're blinded. Okay, they're blinded by spiritually blinded. Is that what you're trying to imply? Yes. 
So if there's because the word of God, because they because they can't because they haven't accepted God, right? Yeah. Anything for them that Jesus says is an insult. What? So even a good thing Jesus tells them is an insult. If Jesus tells them a good thing, is that an insult? To them it is, yes. Even a good thing. Can yes. you give an example from the Bible? Like Look Jesus all the good things. Something good that Listen, he says that's an insult to the Jews. The, and if everything Jesus did was good. Even, even for example, he said like you know about eat, about about like you know helping people on the Sabbath, healing people on the Sabbath. That was to the Jews. That was an insult. That was that was that was a sword against them. That was the sword that he's on about. It hurts them that he's actually bringing peace. But he didn't bring peace. That's the point I'm making. That's the point I'm making. He did not come to bring peace. Okay. Okay. And listen, with regards to their understanding of what the Sabbath was, the Sabbath that he actually broke the Sabbath was, he was trying to say that saving someone's life, yes, takes precedence over keep maintaining the Sabbath. And he did, didn't say, do and away the, with the Sabbath. And they no. didn't like it, did they? Yes, but he's trying why to... Why didn't they like it? I'll tell you what, he's trying you know to tell you what like the priority it? is. Do you know why they didn't like it? Why they didn't like they it? They didn't like it because they were hit by the sword, the word of God. Sorry, they were? Because Jesus gave them the sword, the word of God. Didn't That's Jesus, why they didn't like it. Hold on. That's why he didn't bring Didn't Jesus there. say to listen to what they say and not do what they do? Huh? Yes? Did Jesus not tell his disciples to listen to the Pharisees what they say, but do not do as they do? Because their actions were hypocritical. Yes, the are. teachings were still they were maintaining the teaching of the Torah, which was not wrong. <laughs> so Jesus is telling them to listen to them, that's fine. But do not act upon what they do. Now you got to read the context of the, you got to read the Bible in context. You cannot say that this is what Jesus, everything that uh, the Jewish uh, Jewish people did was wrong. But that teaching wasn't wrong, was it? According to the according to Jesus himself. About <laughs> keeping the Sabbath. Not only the Sabbath, the teachings based on the Torah that was not wrong, because the Torah is basically the book according to Jesus. That's a book revealed by God. It's the laws revealed to Moses, and Jesus even tells them. Why are you breaking the command of God for the sake of your tradition? In Matthew 3 and 4, where he says to put to death anyone who curses the mother or father. Yeah, but you're not. So he's correcting them. In fact, he's rebuking them for stopping that particular command of God. Oh, sorry, not uh, abiding by the command of God. No, he's, say, he's saying you're teaching the kids to be rude. Sorry, you're teaching what? He's ten, telling them you're teaching the kids to be rude to their parents. No, he's telling them not to be. No. Not to curse the parents. No, I'm not saying he's teaching. I'm saying that you're, by what you're saying. They should be put to death. Do you know that? According to Jesus, this is the command of God, that they should be put to death who curses their mother and father. No, but he's not. Did he not say that? No, go on, Chris, go on. Uh, this is why I can't have a conversation with Muslims, man. You're but Chris, it's listening. simple. Did, did he say that or not? I'm Chris. waiting for your answer. Did he say that or not? Huh? Did Jesus say to put to death those who curse their mother and father? And this is the command of God. This is in Matthew chapter 3. Sorry, uh, yeah, uh, Matthew 15, chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. Did he say that or not? Just answer the question. He said, you're hypocrites because you're having a go at them for not washing their hands. Yeah. But yet you're teaching, you basically praise people for disrespecting their parents. Sorry, praise it? Shall we read the verse? To make it yeah, read the you? verse, read the verse. Because no, you, you know seem to have a problem with Muslim, what Muslims no, say. Really Maybe you should have a... Perhaps you have a problem with what Jesus says as well now. And actually, if you actually agreed with that, then you would actually have to... Don't, don't, don't change it to me. No, no, no. This you is your have, Bible. No, no, no. If you agreed with that, you would have to admit Isaiah 29, 12, which Hold actually, on, hold on. Who said I agree with it? Hold on, hold on. Let's just go hold to the verse. This hold is on. what the Bible says. Let's just get hold the verse up. Hold okay, on, the Bible, this is what Jesus says in uh, Matthew 15, verse, verse 3. It says, Jesus replied to them, And why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death. And so you just stop the there? Is that what it is? Just stop there? Just stop there, yeah. Is it from the Bible? What are you saying, Chris? So, Where does it say so, that? So far, do you agree or disagree? Just, anyone who curses their mother just or father? Can, carry, can, just, just stop there. That's a problem. You've just stopped there. When did I say I'm going to stop here? I said, you I'll tell you, do you agree reading, or disagree? Keep reading. Keep okay, go on. Keep okay, reading. I'll tell you what. I'll let you read. Go on. Yeah, go on. But you say... That if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God, that they are not honor, they are not to honor their mother or father. Really. Thus, you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. 
and then he goes, which is actually interesting, which actually, um, uh, read it, read it. What's his Don't name? Zakir Naik, opinions. and uh, no, no, forget your opinion. Just read it, Chris. Hold on, just read it. No uh, commentary is I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm you can tell the comment on, later on. I'm about to give you, so, so, I can tell you something before I read the verse. That, what I'm about to read you, Zakir Naik and Abdul Haim Green, which are most like one of Islam's best scholars, yeah, is it? Or best, best representatives, mm-hmm. yeah, say that. According to Isaiah 29:12, uh, about, that's about Muhammad. But according to Jesus, he says, Are "You, you hypocrites." Isaiah was right when he spoke of prophets about prophesies about you, saying these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. So, who are these people? Jesus is talking about? He's talking about the Pharisees. Yes. And what? Yeah. Why is he telling them, calling them hypocrites? Because they they weren't teaching people the word of God. No, you forgot that no, you, you, you ignored everything I read there. And that is a problem. You do not even pay attention to what I'm reading. Jesus is saying they're hypocrites because for the sake of their tradition, they are breaking the command of God. Yes. And what was the command of God? God that they were breaking God. in that context? No, no. What is the command of God no, no, there? No, 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 no. They weren't breaking the law in that context. In there, what is the command of God? The one is highlighted in yellow. You can go up. What is the command of God that they were breaking? No wonder your problem listening to Muslims because you don't. Your problem listening to your own Bible now. It says clearly over there is for anyone who curses a mother and father. This is the command of God, yeah, and they should be put to death. Why did he say that? Why, look, did look, he say that? why does he they say that? They weren't. They, they weren't. They weren't telling everybody. Oh, don't, 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 they weren't telling everybody at that specific time. Don't honor your mother and father. No, no. They actually broke this commandment. By not keeping, sorry, they did not keep this commandment for the sake of the tradition. It's very clear there. The tradition. The tradition is basically, do not, in that in that context, do not kill the children who curse the mother or father. No. No. So were they killing the children who curse the mother and father? Why would Jesus tell them off? They were say, he's saying that you basically teach them that it's that it's okay. It's a tradition. It's yeah, you're teaching. You're teaching that it's okay to be rude. No, he's saying it's okay not so, to So wait, wait, wait. Let's say you're right. No, no, fair enough, fair enough. Let's say you're right. What is the command of God? In that in context. Testament, in that, that context. Basically, they should be put so, to death. Sorry, that is the New Testament, by the way. Yes. Yes, and Jesus, yes. you're right, is quoting the Old Testament. What is the command of God from the Old Testament is quoting in the New Testament? Don't honor your mother and father. If you don't do that, you should be put to death. Do you agree with that command of God? At the time, yeah. At so, at you, the time, so you agree killing children who are, who are basically no. disrespectful? Oh, he says they're killing children very clearly. No, no, we, no, no, we are we're not going, saying that. We are not going by what we're talking about. What we're going by what the Bible says. Yes. So the Bible here is a command of God where you have to put to death the children who curse the mother and father. Chris, that's what it says. Why? Why would you? Why would? You, why would you want to kill them? And, and, no, and no longer is that. No longer is that actually. Actually. Really? Where was it? Where was it? Why did? Where does Jesus say that you should not follow this anymore? Show me in the Bible it's, where it's it says. To follow it, but not that way. Show me where it says Jesus has actually Chris, revoked this command. Chris, Show me. That's kind of being disingenuous to yourself, bro. Yeah. That's no. what's written. No, no, no. Listen, hold on. I can understand if you said, I don't think. I don't think that applies anymore. I understand if you said that, but the Bible does not say that. Okay, you're going to stop this law now. And Maybe Jesus revoked this law. That's the question. So that's, I'm asking. What it is is, yeah, bro. You've got to be honest with yourself about what you're reading. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm saying, be genuine, bro. Now I see. No, why does it? Does it not say that? Wait, listen. Does it say that or does it not say that? It does, but it's not what you think it is. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay so what you, do you, wait, wait, wait. What yeah, do you I know. I was just about to say that. Just, what that's do you not think what you is? think then, bro? Do you, what do you think is the command of God in that? context in Matthew 15 3 and 4 what do you think when it means when Jesus says the command of God is anyone who curses a mother or father shall be put to death what do you think that is tell me that after because he met because he came and made it a spiritual where does this spiritual in that well verse? If that's what I'm saying let, 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 let him finish, finish. you need to go and look at these right. things no no well, you tell me where learn. it is you you'll can't tell learn. me to look because you're no, the one no no, no no because you'll never learn I, you're just all you're doing <laughs> no, at the moment, Chris. one second all you guys are doing at the moment is listening is, is hearing things from me not taking it in and and not going research. Chris, that's a big assumption because if and generalization I said to you right now, Muslims, actually, right? hold on hold on I you're the one making if I said to you right now listen carefully 
if but I you got to back it up. Second, you got to back it up with you, evidence. If I said to you, listen carefully, yeah. and when I show you, you go home and proper research, research the so whole. Show me. Hold on. Show me. Here's a verse. So Here's you, the Bible. See, show I mean, me. You don't even want to know. Because Chris, you keep case, look, look. Bro. You're making the allegation, see, and then you're you, even thinking about no, no, what you're saying hold before you even listen to me. You're the one making the allegation, and you're saying the onus is on us to find the evidence. It doesn't work that way. Yes, because it's the other way around. No, it's not. When no, you it's make not. an when we're making allegations, you made an allegation, not me. Which allegation did I make? You said he means that it's okay to kill. He's t telling him to kill them when they're doing. Isn't that no, what the Bible he's says? He's going by what the verse says. Isn't what the verse says? You're saying it is spiritual. You show me where he says it's spiritual. Go and look at it. No, the onus is on you. I'm sorry. You're the one making the claim is spiritual, not me. And I'm asking you now, yeah. in front of everybody, if I show you. Yes. The context, yes, yeah, and I might need more than one verse for this. Fair enough, right? Will you go and research it more? Yes. If you whole, give me the verse, the whole this, context. If you give me the verse, and I don't says, mean just when read the one verse and listen to what people have to say. But I'm on about reading one verse, maybe going back to a bit of the teachings. Of I'll tell you what, you can have as many verses as you want, yeah. as long as you can prove that what Jesus said here is spiritual and not to be. Wait, you got internet. It's not a not a, no. I told you already. I don't have internet. And the important thing is this, well, whatever, look, just because you can go and Google it and that is the way you're going to back it up, it still is fair, but you still have to bring the evidence to me. Well, uh, Don't go I, around asking people, show have, me on the internet, show have, me on the unless internet. Unless I have Google, I can't show it. Then, sh then make an, ma I'll tell you what, next time when you come to the park, you come and meet me and you tell me, Hashim, here's the evidence that yeah, you were well, seeking. Next week. And if you don't bring the evidence, next week is Christmas. So I'm oh. assuming you're not coming next week. Yeah. Sorry, no. Not, because I'm not coming, week. definitely. Yeah. Next week. Yes? Well, you celebrate Christmas. But, 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 uh, no, it's just that I don't want to talk to the area. This to the India. So the important thing is this. When you have the evidence, you bring it. I'm not telling you bring it to me right now. Yeah. Bring the evidence. I'll bring you. I'll tell you what. If you don't bring it within a month, I'm assuming you don't have the evidence. I'll bring you. I'll give you a whole month. I'll bring you a few references. To it fair enough. Yeah. You got a whole month to do that. Right, fair enough. Okay? Yeah. Because I've noticed that every time that I've spoken to Christians, they were unable to give me evidence. Yes? Most of them that they'll say that who said that they'll come next week never actually came. Yeah, back. Well, I'm not them. So, you know. I said most of them. Yeah. Okay, so maybe you all want not m m those people that, that had made promises that they'll come next week with evidence and never came. Maybe you're different. Now that is what you have to prove to me. Okay. Good. But as far as I know, this is a clear verse. Actually, there's a verse in the Old Testament. It's in Exodus, which Jesus is quoting here. With regards to this, anyone who curses their mother or father shall be put to death. Nowhere that I've seen that this is something that is just spiritual. If you, say, if you show me an explicit verse, which maintains that... I didn't say now. I didn't say now. Show me an explicit verse whenever you're ready, within a month hopefully. Then I'll say, yes, you got a point. I'm willing to learn. If it's different to what Jesus said, or Jesus basically um, uh, said something different to what he said in Matthew 15, 3, 4, that's fine. I'll take that as evidence and I'll consider it. But if you can't show me the evidence, are you willing to consider that that is something that is literal? Uh, no, because that one happened. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't? I, I, no, so you wouldn't have to? Because that's you said that. if I can't find the evidence, are you willing to consider it? I said no, because that won't happen, I will find the evidence. No, but if you don't, I said. But you won't no, it will not happen according to you. Yeah. But I'm saying if you're unable to find the evidence, well, are you able to concede? concede yeah. Good. That's fine. That's fair. Because I will, like I said, I will look into the evidence that you provide. I'll give you and if it's, I'll, I'll bring you a couple of verses from the Old Testament. I'll give you a few verses from the New Testament. By the way, you know the other thing that intrigued me the last time when you said that the Holy Spirit is a female? <laughs> Where's the evidence for that? I'll, 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 I'll bring it up to you. Go to, it's in Proverbs. Go just for, Proverbs, just, for, Proverbs, just, Proverbs, for the, Proverbs. just for the yeah, audience here, you, have to you actually believe the Holy Spirit is a female? It's not, not to see like a um, like female, like, 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 like here. But okay, not a woman, but a female whatever, spirit or something? Female, a, f a female aspect of God. A female aspect of God? Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And, and if you want to know that, if you want to know what I mean, go and read Proverbs. You tell us. No, don't tell me Proverbs. Give me the words. What's the, the verse? Yeah. What verse? It's all, it's all, it's all about. Proverbs is it's all, it's all about the. It's all about the. About the whole the, chapter. Uh, more or less, yeah. It's from the beginning to right. right. It's all about wisdom and everything, basically. So you th you think God has two aspects: a male aspect aspects. and a female aspect. Is that what Where you're saying? Do you think we get female and a male energy from? I'm asking you because you said the Holy Spirit is a female aspect of God. Yes. So there must be a male aspect as well. And who's that male aspect? The Father. The Father. Yeah. And where does Jesus fit in? Jesus is uh, Jesus is the um, 
Where does Jesus fit in? Jesus is like the um, kind of like the the, the spirit of the spirit of peace in order to get access to God. Spirit of peace. Yeah, and like basically, you know, you know when you says that you have to you have to be humble, you have to be meek, you have to be you have to be a peacemaker, you have to be this. Yeah, that's basically the spirit of Christ. Yeah, once you have all of that, that is the way to God. Okay. And that was with God before. So what about during his second coming when he's going to kill all his enemies? Is, that, is he still the spirit of peace then? With, his, with the word of his mouth. Oh. With what are we? No, he's going to kill them. No, he's going to make them his footstools. I'm talking about Revelation. He's going to make them his footstools. What, so what are you saying? So you think that the, the, what you just said, he's going to kill them and he's going to make them his footstools. So, the so he's saying right? he's going to kill loads of people, get them in a line yeah. and then say, I'm going to say, is he going to kill his enemies or not? No, no, is he going to kill his enemies or not? Huh? In the second coming? You don't know what's going to happen. Well, what does the Bible say? What, what do you think the Bible states with regards to his second coming? Is he going to kill his enemies based on the Bible or not? Not on the way you think. Forget about the way I think. I'm talking about the way the Bible projects it. Is Jesus going to kill his enemies at the end of... Spiritually, yes. Spiritually, yes. What do you mean spiritually? Where did you say spiritually? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Basically, he'll destroy them, yes. So, physically or spiritually? Both. No, both, both. Yeah, both. so physically as well, right? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't sound like the Prince of Peace to me. Uh, well, that's right at the end of time. What do you expect? At <laughs> the end of time, wherever it is, he's and going to kill them. that's in Islam too. Sorry? Yeah, and that's in Islam too. So you shouldn't even... Describe. But you said he's a but prince of peace. But I'm talking about the Bible, you know? I'm not talking about... Chris, you're saying Islam. he's a prince of yes. peace. But, but, but that doesn't mean that you don't bring justice. So, exactly. So there's violence there, right? Huh? So there's violence. At the end, at the end... Who said are you? <laughs> that's, that's what we're asking you, Chris. No, but, no, but that's the point. Okay, look. As long as you... We've had our time. No, no, we that's... more than enough time. That's fine, that's fine. But don't keep saying spiritually every time. When things are literal in the Bible, that's why you take them as literal. Don't fear, don't fear, man. Fear, fear, the, fear the one that is going to that, that can destroy both the body and soul. Who is that? God. Is that and Jesus? Je and, Je and Jesus. Will Sorry, is that Jesus or God? Jesus, God will send Jesus to do to do exactly that. Okay. By the way, you don't believe Jesus is God, right? You don't believe Jesus is God. It's, you don't understand what I believe. It's I'm asking so, him. It's just so, so. It's just so like you know, long. Jesus. You can't. Sorry, he's so. You can't even understand easy things. You won't be able to understand. Can I understand? Them? Do you understand them? So I what? Wouldn't believe. So do you believe Jesus is part of the Triune God? He. He is. He is the the the, the um uh like. You know what's happening? Your fifth doesn't just No, I'm just trying. No, 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 you're not disposition. You know why? Because you're trying. Uh, not this, no, I'm not trying to say No, that. I'm trying to say it in a way that you guys will understand. No, no, yeah. you're thinking, no, no worry about understanding. Yeah. Listen, listen. When you can't you understand. Get any hold on. When you can't understand easy <laughs> things. But God should have a universal understanding. A universal. Everybody understands it. By the way, do you actually believe in the Trinity? Because earlier you said you don't. Do you no, believe in the no, Trinity? No, no. Stop saying.